What's up, Preston Outdoors fans? Today, me and my buddy Travis are out here on Big Cormorant, getting ready for a tournament next weekend for the EDAC Bass Club. Get a little bit of late start. Had a long night last night editing a video, but we're out here getting ready to go. Neither one of us have ever been to this lake, so it'll be pretty fun to try and see what we can come up with. We'll be out here for the next, I say two days or something like that, seeing what we can find and bring you guys another practice video. So, here we go. Crazy to have never seen a Look. perch that small. I like a picture of that. That's wild. That's like new hatch. It's like a yeah. Little smally by the rock. Thing came up just spitting up gobs of bait. Oh they're a little bitty yellow perch probably from this year's hatch. Yeah, they're just tiny, tiny little black stripes there. It's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. By that rock again. God, they really just wrap that worm up and go figure. Rope a worm rips in half. Classic. Not big, but we're finding a mixture of old browns and green fish. Not so much putting a pattern together as we are trying to find areas that will hold fish. Because like I said, never, neither one of us, Travis or I, have ever been to this lake. So it's kind of a, a scouting mission today anyway. Find some areas, catch some fish, and then kind of can elaborate on it later this weekend. That happened. How does that? Tell me. He waited. Really he long. picked it up. Oh, picked it up. Turned the camera on. Got him in the side. Brown fish. Oh, it's been too long since I caught a brown. Why you in here? Get in the camera. Show the people. Biggest one of the day. So you're saying that's the same one you just had on a second ago? Yeah. You just drop it back down. You just straight down and all of a sudden it was on. He spit the hook. Huh? And you just spit it. Bernie! Travis used the tube. Set, he's like, there's one. Set the hook. Bring it right up. Flashes right by the boat. He's like, drops the tube down. He's like, he put it again. These are not tournament winning fish. But... Yeah, hopefully that's not one that we even get to put in the box. All right, we're back. End of day one here. Did a lot of looking. I mean, it's really hard, like I said, in all, all I say this in all my practice vlogs. It's really hard to show you guys the amount of time and stuff that we put in. And, um, you know, just driving around looking at stuff is what it is and not so much catching fish. We ended up catching a few smallmouth today, which is... Um, kind of surprising, you know, I didn't know, really know what to expect over there. Heard there was some smallmouth and stuff, so it, it was fun. Um, tomorrow we're going to get back out there and probably do more scanning and stuff and, and a little bit less fishing um, to figure stuff out. So, <clears throat> I don't know who will be with me tomorrow. Travis won't be there this weekend. It'll just be me for sure. And uh, we'll see who comes along with us. But I'll pick it up and see you guys tomorrow, day two. Good morning, Preston Outdoors fans. This is day number two here for practice for this upcoming tournament. We're heading out there 
Um, as you seen, Travis and I fished a little bit yesterday. I don't know how much fishing I'm going to do today. We didn't cover. We didn't get to cover a whole lot of water. Um, you know, besides looking at stuff. So I'm going to do probably do a lot of scanning. I don't know. If, to me, it just feels more like an offshore, offshore lake, offshore bite. Um, so we'll we'll find out. We're going to try that for a while. I mean, there's not much visual cover um, per se, as like lily pads. Um, matted weeds. I mean, your typical largemouth stuff. It just it seems like there's a lot of rock piles, deeper ledges. You know, some some bull rushes, but really shallow, not good. You know, four to five foot deep ones. So we're gonna try that, see what happens, and uh, we might catch some fish for you guys. But uh, I'll keep you updated. we hooked ouch today Got to fish some rocks did a largey on the old crankbait you guys seen me use this same crank on Midawaska and Green Lake not big at all same size as the smallies we were catching yesterday, but oh, Berkeley Dredger. I like that color, crayfish color. Well, that is the end of day two here. Did not hardly fish at all today. Um, did most of that fishing yesterday. So I need to find new stuff for today, and that's what we did. Scanned a lot. Hours and hours and hours of scanning. Fish that, really that rock bank's basically all I fished and then um, some docks or whatever but pulled in here because it's not windy it's really windy out there but that's the end of day two here tomorrow hopefully we'll be able to all the stuff that we found we're gonna be able to fish hopefully it doesn't get as windy tomorrow be able to fish it tomorrow and see if we can't uh, catch some fish and then put a plan together so see you guys tomorrow what's up Preston Outdoors fans we are at it again here today Final day here on Big Cormorant, and like I said yesterday, did not hardly fish. And today we're gonna start off scanning some more stuff. Um, I don't know. I still have a high confidence level, but we'll find out more once uh, we start fishing and see if we can catch anything or not. But I'm gonna scan a little bit here, probably for the first hour, and then we're gonna be bebopping around to the spots, fishing kind of fast but slow at the same time, if that makes sense. Probably use like a drop shot tube jig, and you know, maybe a crankbait, something like that. Um, maybe a worm around some some deeper uh, weed edges. Of slower moving baits, but I'm gonna be fishing them, not necessarily fast, but I'm not gonna be waiting around as long as I normally would, just to the fact that I got a lot of stuff marked and I don't know where the fish are sitting at, or if we're gonna be trying for large mouth or small mouth, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting what to do. A lot of these, a lot of times, if you are on a lake that only has one of each, you kind of know what to look for and stuff. But this one's got both, so we'll find out here. So hopefully we can catch some fish for you guys and make it a little, little interesting. But this is, this is what happens on the tournament grind. You're just looking a lot of times, not necessarily fishing all the time. I actually got one. Little bitty molly. <clears throat> Just kind of playing around up there with the depth finder. And I was getting bites, but I wasn't getting anything on jerk bait, crank bait, doing long casts and stuff, so I started playing with my depth finder and do a little vertical jigging around just the edge of the rock piles here so we'll see if we can't get a big one
No way. No way. That did not just happen. <laughs> what? That has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever done. You see it on TV all the time. There's tons of bait fish all over around me. They're right underneath the trolling motor. But look how swollen that thing is. That's a good one. I mean, not good, but... So, I'm using that jigging spoon, and I watch guys do it all the time on TV and YouTube videos of them using their depth finders and, and using them basically like ice fishing depth finders. And I've never been able to do it, never come across a scenario like that. So I got the jigging spoon, I'm jigging. There's a fish right underneath it. I'm ripping it, and it's not like a ice fishing spoon where you can just sit there and, and wiggle a minnow head or something underneath it. I mean, I'm jerking it. It's falling up, and I'm like, I don't know if that's a fish. So I drop it to the bottom, and that red mark goes straight to the bottom. It's like, no way. Wouldn't bite it, wouldn't bite it. So I threw the drop shot out there and bit it twice, and finally got them hooked up, and it worked, and I got to watch the whole thing on the graph. That was, that was awesome. I'm going to see if there's a group of them. Oh man, we got a school of smallmouth here. I was just drifting back to that spot. It's a decent one. Drifting back to that spot, or I was drifting away and I was getting ready to turn. There's a fish on the screen. I dropped the drop shot down, watched him eat it again. You have got to be kidding me. I don't have it. I'm not getting four or five pounders, but learning how to use a, a graph to catch fish. Get some more, that's fun. Let's see if it'll work here. I think that's the fish. Got him. Wow. That is too much fun. Drifting over a random spot here. And how these things pull. Drifting over a random spot. There's tons of bait everywhere. And I was just heading back to where I was. There's schools of them marking individuals. He's spitting up bait already here. Marking individual fish. Coming with the drop shot. Dropping it right down and watching the fish run to the bottom and grab it because my drop shot's not that far off the bottom. This is freaking awesome. Um, they're not big, but they're chunky. And they are hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. Mwah. Got another one. Man, it's been a few hours. Found some more bait fish. And this one way off the bottom. Drop shot was probably three feet, four feet off the bottom. Smallies don't give up though. There you go, fight pretty good. Not real big, but I see ya. It's more. This little joker chase, he missed it about three times. Yeah, that is awesome. Video game fishing. Fun. Even more fun if these are about three, four pounds. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. I've tried before. First time I've ever done it and it worked, I should say. I didn't know what I was doing before, but finding bait fish deeper. I don't know if it's gonna 
get us enough weight to win a tournament, but this is the only way I can find to get bit here, so can't find some more. We'll see what happens. Well, that is going to be the end of it for me here. Caught some smallmouth today. Can't remember. Got a large mouth from that. A lot of rock bass, but kind of figured something out to find the bait. Fish a little bit deeper than what I'm really comfortable or normally used to doing. And it's basically like video game fishing today. Um, like I said, I watch a lot of videos on it. Just watched one from Uncut Angling the other day on how he was doing it, catching walleyes and stuff. So this is, it was fun. It was different. I um, mean, basically you're just targeting individual fish. And the thing that's crappy about this pattern, or thing that we found, or I found is um, fish, these especially smallies are very nomadic. Bait's very nomadic. Could be stacked in the areas where it is now just because of the wind um, last couple days. So it'll be tough. I mean, with this, with this tournament, um, today's the last day. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You got five days off before the next tournament. So, I mean, it can totally be different. So it's kind of a kind of a crappy ordeal to find to find that and not be able to fish all the way up to it and just kind of keep tabs on where everything's moving around. Hopefully it'll stay the places where it's at, like bait and fish wise, or hopefully it's it's in the general area. But um, so that's that's it for me. That's gonna be it for this tournament video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this as always. Um, if you haven't already um, check out my Instagram page, Facebook, stuff like that. Give it a check, look it up. I mean, I, like I said, I always keep my Facebook and Instagram updated quite a bit. Or YouTube, I only update uh, twice a week when I got my videos. So check it out. If you guys are seeing this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Also, if you want to learn what uh, I'm using a half ounce, I got some questions on that before. What size chunks and I was um, drop shotting with half ounce. Um, Swagger tackle tungsten. I have a promo code below in the description that you can look at for save you guys some money on that and it helps me out a little bit let them know that i'm putting out the word about the tackle because i partnered with them this summer so thank you guys for watching stay tuned next time pressing outdoors